Hi there, everybody. Um, good afternoon. So I'm coming to you live from the Jewish cemetery in Bruno, uh, Czechia, uh, a city kind of uh, not too far from Vienna, Austria. It took me about two hours to get here, about three and a half, four hours away from Krakow, uh, and a city that, that most people would have never heard of us. Most of us never would have heard of Bruno, Czechia. Uh, it's a city kind of on the way. Uh, and a lot of what I do when I travel is take the opportunity to stop and look at different parts of the heritage and history connected to these sites. And I was really surprised uh, to find one of the most remarkable uh, Jewish cemeteries that I've seen in Europe. As most of you would have seen, especially on my Facebook pages and others, that a lot of the Jewish cemeteries were desecrated during the Second World War, either by the German Nazis or later by the locals, whether it be in Poland or Germany, wherever it was. Uh, but here, uh, in Czechia, um, this cemetery in particular has been kept in, in really amazing condition uh, and with graves from, from really hundreds of years ago. But one of the graves of one of the notable people here is somebody that I just kind of want... I, I read about him just now for the first time. It's the first time I'm hearing about him and I kind of wanted to share this story with all of you. So this is section 21A uh, and this single grave over here not the most elaborate or most beautiful, is the grave of Dr. Henrich Landsmann, otherwise known as Hieronymus Lorm. He was born on the 9th of August, 1821, and died on the 3rd of December, 1902. His story uh, is a story that, that really is sort of incredibly interesting. He was an Austrian poet, um, he was uh, kind of well known as, as being a good poet of the time. He had his pen name of Hieronymus Lorm, and at a young age he was quite sickly uh, and wasn't doing well. And at the age of 15 he started to go blind and then a little later he started to go deaf as well. And Hieronymus Lorm, again, most of us would have never have heard of him, but for a lot of people living, especially around this area, be it in Austria, Germany or Poland, for a for a portion of people, he's a significant part of their lives. Why? Because he took his disability, he took this blindness, his blindness and his, uh, and his deafness, and he turned it into something quite significant. He created the sign language, uh, enabling uh, this sort of tactile form of sign by touching the hands, where you may, people may have seen it with somebody who's both deaf uh, and blind, is where they touch their hands uh, and enable to sort of write the alphabet on their hands, he created it here uh, and really just a wonderful story and, and truly remarkable uh, and someone that, that deserves to be remembered. So it was very nice for me to be able to visit his grave. Uh, and as you see with the rest of these graves here in this cemetery, again, it's really pretty interesting. Uh, something that you don't see a lot of uh, in Poland, for example, of pictures on the graves. Uh, this is something quite unique uh, on other places. Uh, and something that people often ask is about the symbols on the top of the grave. So on the top of this grave over here of Mr. Adolf Kohn, uh, and Katarina Con, you'll see this, the hands, these, these hands, these signals of the hands that are spread apart and together. This would be the sign of the Kohanim, of the priestly tribe, of the Jewish uh, priests uh, from the time of the Bible. There's others with pictures on top of them and another Jew called Adolf, not such a popular name anymore. Um, and the rest of this cemetery, again, is really just a very interesting uh, and quite a remarkable place and taken care of very, very nicely as well, which is a uh, which is quite a, a special thing to see, uh, as we spoke about before, especially here uh, with such a large desecration of this heritage and history. To have such a cemetery standing uh, is something that I thought was kind of worth sharing with everybody who are stuck wherever you are um, and doing whatever you're doing. Uh, for me, here in this sort of lonesome cemetery, I'm going to get out of here quite soon. Uh, there's a lot of mosquitoes. It's incredibly hot. It's about 35 degrees. And the guy said there may be snakes. I hate snakes. I'm out of here. Uh, for me here in the cemetery uh, in Bruno, Czechia, I bid you all farewell.